Hey guys, welcome home. Today I'm gonna teach you how to use the breakout room in Zoom. Without any further ado, let's get in the house. For those who haven't seen my last tutorial about how to create an enabled uh, uh, breakout rooms in Zoom, then you better watch it out by just clicking the link above. Because today I am just going to tell you how to use the breakout rooms detailed by detail. Okay, so let's get started. And I have here created a new meeting. And I had, I also set up a three participants and me as a host also. So, I have here, as you can see, we have here, if we click the participants, we have uh, four participants, Aliana, Joey, and Lyle. So, this time, uh, I'm going to demonstrate to you how to use the breakout rooms. So, at the bottom uh, of the main interface of Zoom, we have here the breakout rooms. Just click this and... As, as you can see, we have here assign three participants into one rooms. So create breakout rooms. So initially, there is only one room uh, as the default value, and it is automatically as option. Uh, it uh, the option is it can automatically be assigned in one room. So we have also here a manual but this time we are going to use the automatic um, assignment of participants so we have here three participants into one room so you can change it to two and then as you can see the participants per room uh, are also adjusted so if we have three participants and we have two rooms each room has one to two participants per room so the zoom is the one responsible for uh, assigning it to the to the particular breakout rooms so for this time if we create if we increase the number of rooms for example three automatically they assigned or the zoom assigned it uh, one participants per room but this time we'll just create two rooms and we'll just uh, let it be automatically just create rooms and here you go so we have created two breakout room here breakout one breakout room one and breakout room two so each room has a two participants and one participant since we have all, uh, we have only um three participants here so um as if you're going to hover the mouse we have here the rename and delete a room so just rename this as group one room and this one to group two room so group one has aliana and lyle and group two has joey so if you hover on the participants we can see here the option to move to and to exchange so for example if we're going to move um Aliana from group 1 to group 2 or from breakout room 1 to breakout room 2 just click this move to and then choose um, what uh, room for example group 2 room okay so see uh, we have seen here that Aliana is moved from group 1 to group 2 we can also exchange uh, participants from group 1 to group 2 for example exchange Joey to Lyle okay as you can see Lyle and Joey exchange room from one to two so we have here recreate so if we're going to create recreate all rooms then it will back to to the original uh, rooms and the assignment also so you can automatic and manually assign participants but this time we are just going to open all rooms so as you can see all the rooms are open and I have here the the phone of one participants and as you can see uh, it's blur 
but it, uh, the one that is being there is they have to join breakout room so I have to click the join and automatically uh, the participant have joined and I have here as you can see the one who joined the breakout room will have a green uh, label circle besides their name so if we uh, have another participants here just I am just going to click the join and joining group 2 so Aliana is joining group 2 and we have here another device I have set up so join breakout room and automatic uh, joining group 1 okay all of the participants have uh, circled green label so meaning to say that they have already joined the breakout rooms that we have created so since I am the host so I have the option to go to the different breakout rooms from group 1 to group 2 but I cannot join them simultaneously so from the main sessions they go to the breakout rooms so I have to join to them so for example I have to join from group 1 then only, ha only the thing that I have to do is just click the join and join group 1 and then I'm going to click yes joining breakout rooms group one so that will be the okay since the member of the group one is only joey then we are on the same um breakout session which is the group uh one room so whatever i am going to say here will not be heard or will not be shown to the other rooms so uh this time i am going to leave this room and will go to another room just click uh, at the lower corner part of the main screen of zoom you have your leave room just click it and just choose leave breakout room okay returning to the main session so if i go i am going to leave the breakout room i will be going back to the main session and then to join to another breakout rooms i need to go to the breakout rooms and then choose what particular breakout room you are going to join so for example we are now going to join the group 2 breakout room which has Aliana and Lyle as participants so join group 2 and joining breakout rooms group 2 so it's just very simple if you are just if you're the host you can hop from one uh, breakout room to another and leave uh, leave breakout room and go back to the main, main sessions so as you can see I am now in the breakout rooms uh, group 2 so we have here Lyle and Anyana so the same thing also if I am going to discuss something about a particular uh, topic on this breakout room and everything that we have discussed will be leave in this room and it cannot be heard or be viewed from another rooms or in, from the main sessions okay i am going to leave the room and leave the breakout room and i'm returning to the main sessions of the zoom okay so as you can see um as you can see in the main sessions uh, there's only one participant and it's only me so in order for them to to <clears throat> to be go back to the main um sessions uh, we need to close all the rooms that you have created or if the time allotted to them has already um, finished then automatically they will be going back to the main sessions so we'll go to the breakout rooms again and then we need to click the all rooms close all rooms and all participants have been given 60 seconds to leave their breakout rooms so there is a countdown one minute countdown that they were going to leave the breakout rooms after 60 seconds so the uh, the time that is being allotted to them 60 seconds will also be changed in the settings or in the main options of breakout rooms so uh, it is discussed in my previous tutorial about how to create and enable breakout rooms in zoom so since it is already uh, 20 seconds we'll just wait until it finish the time 
Then we have here uh, 13 seconds, 12 seconds, 10 seconds, and so on and so forth. So after it is finished fr from the time it's allotted for them to go back. Okay, so all the participants are coming back to the main sessions. Okay, that's all. Thank you very much for uh, staying and watching this tutorial. I hope you learned something new. And for more clarifications, suggestions, and comments, just comment down below in the comment section and we'll make it sure that we're going to check it out. Until next time, this is Miliamo Ferds. Adios. Thank you.